hunger for God? Do you hunger for the truth? Brother, a friend, friend, God bless you. Don't go. Let's talk. Let's talk, man. I'm lonely, man. I want to talk. I care about you, sir. Read the Bible, man. The Bible is a road map to heaven. God bless you. God bless you, gentlemen. Believe by the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved, dear sir. The Lord Jesus said, all who are of the truth will hear my voice. My heart is overflowing with a pleasant theme. I address my verses to the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Oh, the name of Jesus Christ is a beacon of hope, a citadel of refuge, a, a tower of defense. The name of Jesus Christ is glorious, exalted in honor and praise. Give him glory, my friends. Don't be deceived, young man. God is not mocked. Whatever you sow, you shall reap. If you put an apple seed in the tree in the ground, do you expect a cherry tree to come forth? If you live a life of hedonism, if you live a life of decadence and self-indulgence, a life of sin, do you expect God to give you a harvest of glory on the day of judgment? But Jesus Christ, he can set you free from the chains of your addictions. Oh, be warned, be warned today. Wake up, wake up. There is a predator for your soul, a predator who hunts the precious soul. Death, my friends, comes to every one of us. Why? Hell, what's that? Why does he have the soul? Why does he have, what's why? the, why what? Why does he hunt the soul? Why does he hunt Tell the soul? Because why. of your sin. Tell me why. If you're serious, I maybe I would deign to dignify your mockery with an answer. Why? Do you desire the comfort of lies? Or will you be wounded by truth today? Do you have the maturity to see your need for the hard truth? My friends, the hard truth of your own mortality. Every one of us dies. And God knows about the filth your wife, your mother, your girl doesn't know about. And God is going to judge. God is going to judge in great fire, in flaming fire, taking vengeance on those who do not know God and do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus. How you doing, sir? Do you know God today? Do you know God? Do you know truth? Do you know the truth, my friends? You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. If you don't know the truth now, if you suppress the truth, now you will wake up in hell and you will realize the really hard way that you are wrong don't my friends don't die don't die without the hope of jesus christ why will you choose death christmas is about a tree jesus was born to die on a tree not a tree decorated with baubles and tinsel and lights but he was born to die on a tree that was adorned with his blood with spikes with a crown of thorns oh jesus was born to die sir don't mock it don't scoff it lest you burn and a hotter flame that was required oh my friends judgment is coming you can't escape your own death you can run and run from the sound of our voice but the bible says there is coming a day the hour is now here when the dead shall hear the voice of the son of god God will judge the whole world in righteousness. He has appointed a man by whom he will judge the world. The Lord Jesus Christ is the final authority. The book stops with him. Judgment, my friends. Judgment comes. God bless you. God bless you, sir. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that God has thus decreed predeterminately that you would believe on him, that you would put your faith and your trust in him who has power over death, for he holds the keys of hell and death. Do you fear God? Your death is in his power. Your fate, your destiny is in the hand of God. Have you no fear of him? Do you not tremble at his word? Is there no life in you? Are you completely, God bless you, sir. Are you completely desensitized to truth? Are you completely insensitive to wisdom? Your life is made, my friends, by God. Your very breath is from God. The Bible says that God breathed into Adam, into man, and he became a living soul. Your life is breathed by God, and one day God will inhale. God has exhaled your life, and one day God will inhale your life back to himself. God will judge you on that day. God will judge. But there's mercy. There's mercy. Do you love Jesus? The Bible says we love because he first loved us. Do you love Jesus? sir if you love it's been given to you you can't boast of your love for god i can't boast of my love for god i have nothing to boast of except the cross of jesus christ whereby i'm crucified to the world and the world to me my friends jesus christ is the only thing that we can glory in 
Now, do you glory in Jesus, or are you full of shame? Many of you today, you live a shameful life, a shameful life. If your mother knew about the things you did, she, she would cry. But the Lord Jesus, oh my dear friends, the Lord Jesus, He can save you from your sin. Pray to Jesus Christ. Oh, how merciful, how good is God. Jesus is good and kind. Jesus is merciful. Believe on the Lord Jesus today. The Bible says, except you are converted and become like little children, you can't enter the kingdom of heaven. Humble yourself like a little child. Recognize that you are completely dependent upon God for your life. What is the first thing a little baby does when he's born? He cries. He screams. He screams for milk, for nourishment. My friends, you need nourishment today. Desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. You can still hide your sin from man's authority but God's authority is everywhere God's power his eyes they range to and fro on the earth beholding the evil and the good nothing can be concealed from his omniscient gaze God's eyes they pierce into the darkness God's eyes probe into the shade you cannot hide under the rocks and the caves calling out to them hide us from the wrath of the lamb Jesus is supposed to be about the first uh, Jesus is the is the the son of god christmas is supposed to be about the first advent well there's another another advent my friends another coming you know the word advent here's a free education the word advent it means coming christ is coming god bless you sir do you love jesus today sir do you love god or do you love sin or do you love your lies do you love your corruptions ma'am do you know god today please don't die in your sin sir know god and be at peace with god today look to jesus sir he can redeem your soul from its vile corruption he saved my soul from my sin and he can do the same for you because my god the lord jesus is merciful he is benevolent he's a good and righteous king he is free with pardon. He is generous with grace. He is kind and loving to men's souls. Jesus Christ today. Do you love him? Do you know him? Believe on his name. The streets are filthy today. Why? Because people don't have the love of God in their hearts. They don't have the grace of God. Do you know why things degrade? Do you know why society gets filthy? Why does everything break down like entropy? Why? Because this universe is cursed. This whole world is cursed by sin. But Jesus Christ can remove the curse. God bless you, dear lady. God bless you, dear ma'am. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and he will have become a curse for you. For it is written, cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. The Lord Jesus Christ hung on a tree for the sins of his people. He hung on a tree to make you free. If you believe in him, you don't have to go to hell today. My friends, is it well with your soul or will you go to hell? God bless you, dear sir. Do you know Jesus today? Do you know truth or do you love lies? The Bible says man does not live by bread only, but by every word of God. Let's read the word of God. Do you love the Bible today? Do you love God's word or do you love only man's ideas? Do you listen? What do you listen to? Who do you listen to? What are your teachers in life? Who teaches you? Does God teach you? Do you go to a good church? Do you read the Bible? Psalm 45. My heart overflows with a pleasing theme. What is the most pleasing theme? The most beautiful motif in this world? The greatest message is Jesus Christ died and was raised on the third day according to the power of God. Jesus lived the best life. The Lord Jesus Christ is the greatest person who ever graced this earth. The Lord Jesus never spoke one lie. Now you have told many lies. If you are honest with yourself, you know that you're a liar at heart. You have broken your, uh, you've broken your mother's heart. You have offended God. What's that? I can't hear you. Uh -huh. God bless you. God bless you, ma'am. You have dishonored your parents. You have disobeyed your parents. But the Lord Jesus can cleanse you. The Lord Jesus can forgive your sin. Go to die and go to hell for your sin, my dear friend. Look to Jesus Christ today. The Bible says, There is no other name given under heaven among men whereby you must be saved. The name of Jesus Christ is the only way to God. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me.
The way to heaven is narrow. Fight to enter into the narrow door. For many, I tell you, will seek to enter and not be able. Wide is the way that leads to destruction. And many are those who go that way. But narrow, sir. Dear friend, narrow is the way that leads to life. And few are those who find it. Do you love truth today or do you love lies?